Yeah. This is not going well. There's Emmett now. Have you seen Emmett? Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for a tall, thin, older gentleman. He might have been with a tall, thin, younger gentleman. I know just who you're talking about. <gasps> hey, just left about a minute ago. Hey, that's if Doc. You hurry, you might catch. No, that's Doc. Take off your Take helmet. Take off your helmet. I prefer to leave it on. The inland air is difficult on my sinuses. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I know, I know you you're are. in there, Doc. Doc? Yes, I am a doctor of marine biology, but I fail to understand what you are. Quit fooling around, Doc. What have you done with him? Stop! Emma? Help! I'm being attacked! Harry! What are you doing? You can't assault the exhibitors. You don't understand. He's kidnapped Emmett. The boys, obviously. Are oh, confused. Doc. I'll say he is. The one I should toss him out on his ear. That won't be necessary. Do you know who that is? That's Jock Duteau of the Oceanic Institute. No, it's not. It's... Please keep it down. The expo went through a lot of trouble and expense to secure Professor Duteau. We can't afford to antagonize no him. One see but him. If you've change? got a complaint against him, we can straighten it out after the show. But if you make another scene like that, I'm afraid I'm going to have you expelled from the hall. Uh... So frustrating. Where'd you stash Emmett? In the diving bell? It's called a bathosphere. Aha! So Emmett is. is in the bathosphere. I don't know what you're talking about. I think I'm gonna take a closer look at that bathosphere. Not without a ticket, I'm afraid, sir. I have hey. a ticket. Is this guy trying to bum a free ride? I have a ticket. No. See that you don't. Feels good to be on the right side of the law. <laughs> oh, frustrating. This is aggravating. Professor Duteau, huh? At your service. Hmm. <laughs> what have you done with the real Professor Duteau? I'm not sure I like your insinuations. Oh my I'm not sure I like you kidnapping Emmett. Perhaps I should call the authorities and have you removed from the hall. You're a cold-blooded guy, Duto. Say la vie. Take a ride in a bathosphere. Your bathosphere. I'd like to see the inside of it. Can't get in without a ticket, I'm afraid. I'm getting a ticket then. You're not gonna get away with this, you know. As they say in my country, que sera, sera. Uh, Trixie, I need a, I need more tickets because apparently that huge roll. No, I have it right here. Expo tickets. I have a huge roll of expo tickets. Come on, you used it before. Here's my ticket. I want to see inside that bathosphere. I don't think so. What? What do you mean? I've got a ticket. You have to honor my ticket. It's uh, uh, the, the, the wrong kind of ticket. What? Sorry. No, what give are you me a talking break. Talking about? It's not the wrong kind of dark bathosphere. Algae cakes. Mm. How about an algae cake? One algae cake coming right ahead. Hey, wait a minute. It's you. Forget it, Mister. Running out of time. Um, I'll float in up. I'll float up above it. Uh-uh. I'm only giving this to Emmett. Check out the bathysphere. sphere. I've got to get Emmett out of there before it's time for his demo. Check the bathysphere sphere hose. That looks like the air hose for the bathosphere. I ought to just go raise the bathosphere myself. I don't think so. Is this punk giving you trouble, Mr. Duto? Mm -hmm. uh. I'll just 
got to be something I can do to distract him. Can you do anything, Hi, you Trixie? Folks. Hi, Trixie. Now, what can I do you for? Emmett's in the See bathysphere. that bathysphere? Emmett's inside that bathysphere. That's nice. Nice? He's a captive. Of Jacques Duteau? Of Carl Sagan. Uh, I think I've got what you need. The Hill Valley Expo may prove overwhelming to those of a delicate disposition. If you are feeling confused or disoriented, try these simple steps. One, put your head between your knees. Trixie. Never mind. Uh, thanks anyway. Thanks. Alright. I might have to use the House of the Future again. I'm not sure if Carl Sagan's Welcome actually going to gonna actually tomorrow, going to. Where a man's home is truly his castle. Here, Greta may push. Fall for it. I don't think he's going to fall for it. Period. Klondike 425. Jeez. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Carl Sagan. It's me, Carl. Oh, hi, Mr. Can I talk to Emmett? Would you get Emmett for me? Oh, I would, Mr. Sagan, but I can't see the kid nowhere. In fact, the... Oh, yes. Uh, hang on. Conversation. Hmm. In the hell? Experience. Klondike 425. Yep. Yeah. It's me, Carl. Hi, Mr. Sagan. Never mind. I'll go get Strickland. What is it now, Mr. Sagan? What? It's an invisible st Strickland. It's an invisible Strickland. Oh, look at the time. I, I should go. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> That's a hilarious bug. That is a that is a bug. That's so awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh. So apparently Edna was working on an invention of her own, an invisibility ray, In or an invisibility cloak. Please resilience. Klondike. Yeah? Kid Tan. It's Kid Tan. I don't know. I go on. Conversation. Good for you. What happens if I food basket button again? In the house of the- I don't know what I'm gonna do with this fruit. Nothing, I guess. Alright, there's gotta be something else I can need to do. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Art, I need hey, help. Artie. That's Carl Sagan in the deep sea diving suit, and he's holding Emmett captive in the bathysphere. You're making a pretty serious allegation, mister. I'll have to look into it. Right after the show. This ticket should get me into any exhibit on the floor, right? Sure. That's a P ticket. Well, the guy at the aquarium is refusing to honor it. Hmm. There must be some mistake. Come on, let's straighten this out. Good. Professor Thank you, Artie. Duteau, this young man claims you refuse to take his ticket. Not at all. I am only too happy to take his ticket. Please, climb the ladder. And I will raise the balance for you. Thank you, Artie. Now what is he gonna do? Is Art... Mon Dieu! What is the matter? <sighs> the gears, they must have become stuck. I am afraid I cannot raise the uh, balance Now you're playing that. Small man. What a shame. <sighs> It is, it is, it is. Art. Well, I will work on that problem. Perhaps we should come back later. Uh, well, now that I'm up on the platform. Oh no. Hiya, folks. It's me, Techni, Muse of Progress, gracing you once again with my presence. And speaking of presents, what better gift could Hill Valley offer the world than this magnificent science and technology exhibit? Hey, folks. Woo! If you haven't done so already, I urge each and every one of you to take a peek at Furnishings of the Future. Right here in our main hall. Tickets are available from me, Techni, at our information desk. That's right. Stall. Stall. Hurry up. Stall. 
Come down, please. The bathosphere exhibit. Step back! You're cutting the hole! What does it matter if there's nobody in the bathosphere? It's very bad form. Uh -huh. Oh, sorry. It's an old nautical superstition. A crimp horse beats. Imminent doom. Oh, you're going to yeah, you better there's somebody let inside yourself... the bathosphere, but exactly. I thought you said there wasn't anybody in the bathosphere. Exactly. There's not. You're going to suffocate if you don't do anything, Doc. Doc. I command you uncrimp that horse. Funny. Nope. You'd think it was you who was running out of air, not the guy in the bathosphere. I, I don't know who, what you're talking about. It's as if you two were connected somehow. Exactly. Oh, this is devious, but it's going to work. This is devious, but it works. You're taking a big risk, though. Again, paradox. Raise the bathosphere, Doc. I won't do it. Then neither will I. See? It was just a malfunction after all. Oh, Art. Artie. Oh, Artie. Artie. Nobody oh. saw him put Let's get you out of there. in the bathosphere, uh, really? Emmett Brown? Then it was true. Hey, you. <laughs> hey, he just took that guy's wallet. <laughs> I think he took his wallet. <laughs> 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 Remind me not to become an oceanographer. I guess I must have a touch of claustrophobia. That's Never awesome. should have gone in there. Well, we've all got problems. Oh, the references. Now, you better get back to your booth. Funny thing it. is, I don't even remember going in there. Last thing I recall, I was in the glass house talking to Carl Sagan. Did you know he's really a scientist? I'd heard. What did he say to you? Oh, he had some sort of spur of the moment business proposition. It was all very rush rush. I never got the details. It would have meant leaving before the expo was over, so I told him that... Say, where'd he go? You know? Carl Sagan? He had to leave. One of his experiments blew up on him. No, oh, I know how that is. Greetings and salutations to all our honored guests. I am Techni, Muse of Progress. And it is my pleasant task once again to highlight one of the great minds who was hard at work building a better tomorrow. I think that's me. I'm next on the roster. Just in time. But are you ready? No, I don't have a choice. Did you bring the static accumulator? Oh, right. Here you go. It's really cute in this outfit. It's a really cute outfit, Emmett. He looks adorable. And who knows? One of this kid's gizmos just might take off and change the life of everybody in town. Could it be the very thing he's brought to share with us today? That ought to do it. Are the block bearings all in the raised position? Block bearings, block bearings. Raised position, check. Then it looks like all systems are go. Trixie's doing a great job of calling. Wish me luck. Don't have to. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Emmett Brown! Objection! Objection, Your Honor! I hereby demand that the scientific demonstration of von Emmett Letter of Brown be terminated and forfeit by reason of insanity! I declare him to be in contempt of me, his father! I talked to his Where father. Where is he? Hand him over this instant! It's always, if it wasn't one thing, it's you another. Can't hide from it justice! Because Emmett and John Shepard Brown. Emmett! Shh! Don't give me away! I thought you weren't scared of your father anymore. When he's in a mood like this, I'd have to be suicidal not to be scared. Come on, Emmett, you can't miss your big moment. You don't look very dignified crouching down there, you know. Better undignified than dead. 
Just jump in the levitator and go. What's he gonna do? Shoot me down with an anti-aircraft gun? He, what? Let me talk to him. Judge Brown. <clears throat> Mathis. You don't think you can shelter him? Why does he look like Teddy Roosevelt? Maybe Emmett would come out from wherever it is he's hiding if you tried the reasonable approach. This is the reasonable approach. Don't antagonize him. Well, if you're not going to say anything. So he is up there with you. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Son, I order you to come down from there this second. I don't take the fools. I try. <laughs> I want to speak to my son. Emmett's not ready to talk to you uh, directly. Oh, God. I suppose <laughs> you're his mouthpiece. I guess so. Yeah. If I can say so, sir, the problem is, is you're coming on too strong. You intimidate him. I don't intimidate him enough. That's the problem. Oh, really? You can't talk him out of it. His mind is made up. So, if talking won't work, there's always threshing. Uh, really? Can't you two have it out later? You mean after he's gone through with this ridiculous stunt? Yeah. No! Yeah. No. Stay right there. I'm not going anywhere. Who Good dare to not disobey a direct order? I'm not talking to him. There's no point. Maybe he'll give you a fair chance to explain yourself. He is a judge, after all. Yes, a judge who's already passed sentence. He won't listen to me. He never has. I'll be right back. I have to play go between, between these two. So, is your client prepared to make a statement? He says it's no use talking to you. You never listen? I'm playing that telephone shows how these big two. Edit he is. Of course I listen. If he can justify his craziness, I'll be only too happy to indulge it. Stay right there. Fear! <laughs> Emmett. I'm not talking to him. There's no point. You heard him. He said he'll listen to you. Well... At least give it a shot. Come on, talk Father. to your... Son? You've never understood the first thing about me. All you want to do is step on me, squelch my natural instincts. Understand. You don't know what it's like what? to be young. You, you don't know what it's You're like to have dreams. I have ambitions so great and so powerful that they've got a life of their own. And it's all you can do to hang on for dear life while they get a point where they must. This is America, Pop. And in America, a person doesn't have to do what his father did. Isn't that why you came to America? To live where there wouldn't be so many rules? Well, we talked. Are you happy? <laughs> Emmett? Care to play peacemaker again, Pollyanna? Deep down, he's just worried about you hurting yourself. No amount of physical pain could equal the pain he's already inflicted to my spirit. Oh. This is really tough because I know there are a lot of there are a lot of parents who expect they have certain expectations from their kids. This is nothing new. A lot of you might even be living this right now or even did live it or relate to this in somehow. Like our parents have very specific expectations for us and sometimes their expectations might be a little bit too extreme in the sense that they don't allow us to choose our own path. You know, I, in particular when parents expect us to follow the exact same path that they did, or even or even not. Like, if they feel like they want to have, if they want their kids to have a better life than they did, it's, it's, there's nothing wrong with wanting better life for their kids, but if a kid wants to, has a dream for being something that a parent doesn't necessarily, is it, it isn't for them, you know, it's not something that they would do, they have to understand that that their kids are not them. Their interests are not necessarily their own interests. And what's right for them is not necessarily right for their kids and vice versa. And that's okay. That's okay. 
but it looks it's sounding like Mr. Judge Brown is being a little stubborn about that. I don't know. I think you two are on the verge of a breakthrough. Okay, so he's got a strong personality. Strong personality. Lord save us from strong fathers. Why couldn't I have been born to a nice wimpy milk toast? Like Yeah, well yeah. that's no picnic either. Yeah, that's the not a picnic. The important thing either. is, fathers can change. They says can. you. That's an awesome reference yeah. to George McFly. Judge Please, Brown. You gotta get out of Emmett's way. I have yet to hear a compelling or even coherent reason why. See, Your Honor, it's just that this demo is so important to Emmett. <laughs> a childish kerfuffle. He'll forget all about it in two weeks' time. Why do you That's think what that? I'm afraid of. Look, Your Honor, you don't see it, but there's an awful lot riding on Emmett's demonstration. All the more reason why I've got to put a stop to it. Look me in the eyes, young man. I expect you know my son pretty well by now. Do you seriously think his exhibition is going yes. to be a I don't success? Even have to, you're, I don't even have to let you finish your, your, your sentence. Yes. Sure. Uh, sure it will. Ha! You know as well as I how it'll end. Disaster! Maybe, maybe not, but even if it does, I mean, isn't Emmett entitled to make a few mistakes? Emmett has exceeded his quota for one lifetime. It's my job as his father to see to it there are no more mistakes. Not at his age. Not at his age. Emmett's just... Stubborn, willful, single-minded, incorrigible, and obsessed. Just like you. Okay, but if you look at it from the right angle, those traits are kind of... good. That may be your angle, Sonny, but I'm not so sure it's the right one. Make no mistake. No, those are obtuse. traits that obtuse. lead to trouble. He gets them from his mother. And it's just trying to make a name for himself. Maybe things were different when you were a kid, but nowadays you, you gotta take chances. What do you know about taking chances? Try moving to a strange country where you don't speak the language. There's only two dollars to your name. Try traveling you? around time. You bet your socks, me, and I made out all right, too. Well, How'd your dad feel about it at the time? Papa, he was fit to be tied. He called me a disobedient little... Mm -hmm. So your father didn't approve of you coming to America? Well, Papa never really understood the younger generation. Mm -hmm. He came around a bit in the end, but by then it was too late to... Mm -hmm. Tell him I'll listen to him. I want to listen to him. If he wants to talk. Emmett. Emmett. It's your cue. He says you get your stubbornness from your mother. Well, that's the limit. He's not satisfied with insulting me. He's got to drag my mother through the dirt, too. Uh. Mother isn't at all like me. She's gentle and sweet and endlessly patient. If anything, I'm more like... Don't uh, skip it. Mm-hmm. What did you just say? You were starting to say that you're like... Skip it. Your it dad. Be that you and your dad? No. Next subject. Emmett, stop being a dope. You've got your pride. Okay, I, I get it. And so does he. But what's the harm in trying to make peace with the guy? He's your family, and family's important. Sometimes it's, well, even more important than we realize. May I come up... Oh, so don't smack him. You think that my would be new horrible. invention is a disaster waiting to happen? Yes, yes, I do. And I'm here to say, if any son of mine is going to make of himself a public disaster, I insist on being there to support him. Good. Now oh. hug you two. You're gonna change your tune once you see this baby go airborne. You see, the force field generated by the static accumulator. Marty, give Trixie the signal. We're ready for liftoff. Oh, good. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for bearing with us through that unavoidable delay. And now the Hill Valley Expo is pleased as punch to present Mr. Emmett Brown and his electrokinetic levitator.
There we go. is going to become the dock that we know of? Oh no, did Emma just crash? Hey! Hey, stop! Get back here! Oh no, she stole the... Oh no, if she hits 88 miles per hour, that's it! We're stuck! Are you okay? We're stuck! She stole the car! I could change her. Things could be different. Oh no! Forget about it! Come on! We gotta find a way to stop her before. Oh, gonna go don't to come the... any closer. Ah, go away. What happened? What did you do? Move, move, party! Oh my gosh, Doc! Oh no! Oh Why is God. he getting a race of existence? What happened? Say something. Iridium. 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 I'll, get, I'll get help. Newspaper. Newspaper? What? You mean? What does the newspaper say? Read it. 